Oh, I am playing with fire because <laughs> I need a lot more room for the legs of my hand tripod for it to really be comfortable. What you're propped on is not wide enough. <laughs> I definitely need more room, but I'm going to try and be like a quick reflexes type girl. Anyway, hello. Welcome to my pre-birthday vlog. I was thinking about that and in the past, I've done this like 33 things I know for sure, 32 things I know for sure, 30 things I know for sure. And as I was thinking about this year, that's not, that's not the space I'm in. I very much feel like I know nothing, which on one hand is a bit frightening, but on the other, like, and this may sound weird, but I'm oddly grateful for. I'm grateful that I live a life that has so much room for growth and expansion and scaling. And as someone who I've also come to realize this about myself, like I'm very growth focused and growth oriented and not to sound like pompous, look at me, I'm all about growth because also that's the thing that could also very well frighten me. But I definitely am the kind of person who's like I'm attracted to people who are like learning or growing or better than me in one way or another. Like that's, I'm like, ooh, that's so interesting. Like how are you so confident? How are you so disciplined? How are you so, all the things that maybe I struggle with. I love that and I'm kind of drawn to those people. But even that aside, I, 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 I like I've always been the person who's like setting goals and I just, at the start of the year, I'm all here, I'm out here just like, bang, 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 this is what I want to do from like, uh, career level, physical level. I love that. I live for such things. And so it's okay that I'm feeling like <laughs> I'm in the middle of this transition or some, like I'm in the middle of something. And be, because ultimately that means like I'm growing and all this like discomfort is because I'm moving into the unknown and it's also okay to be uncomfortable. So all this is to say, I'm definitely not coming at you with like 34 things I know for sure because I'm okay to not know 34 things for sure and actually I'm excited to learn and to grow and to move from that and the approach I'm taking with my birthday this time around is a little bit different to what has been the case in the past I'm also the kind of person who loves to celebrate like give me any reason and I'm like we're doing and this is how I'm gonna show up and blah 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 like this is like I want to make a thing out of it but I'm not gonna do that this time around last year I believe I called I got people together and I was like we're having a dinner and all of that and this time around I kind of just want to go with the flow of things but more so I find I find that I'm in a very introspective space and what I want is like quiet and stillness and for me to to be able to just like move things and be able to see or to have a better idea of what it where it is I'm going and what it is I want and what I've learned from the last few years right so with that said I'm kind of looking at my birthday prep in two ways the first is like oh what are the feel good things that just are like celebrate this is your birthday do something special you know um, so for instance I was out looking for a dress a special dress that I could wear for my birthday which is also slightly traumatic because nothing I was trying was fitting me and I was just like <laughs> coach Rosanne nothing fits me and I just feel like this is the first week I felt unhappy in my body um, not to be mistaken with like I'm disgusted and I don't love my body and just like I'm grossed out but I felt unhappy with my body and all that will be in a video coming soon anyway when shopping for a dress wasn't exactly what i thought it would be but it's okay um and i got myself new pajamas i feel like christmas and birthdays are a good time to kind of get yourself new pajamas um also whenever there's sales because things have gotten so expensive these days i think customs and the dollar and all of that has just made everything just like skyrocket it's madness out there i booked myself in for a spa which i have not done in the long it could be it might it might very well be years since i last had a massage which is like a relaxing massage 
I used to have sports massages, which if you've had them, you know it's not exactly relaxing, but this is all about like tranquil music and like gowns and lying by the water, by the pool right after. And if I want, I can dip inside because it's a heated pool, but with all this heat, who actually needs a heated pool? I don't, I don't know. But um, yeah, so I'm, I'm kind of, I'm doing those like feel good things. And um, on my actual birthday, I might actually, not I might, I definitely will go out for dinner and we'll see who'll make it uh, for the dinner. I'm, I'm also not like, fussing about it needs to be a big thing and everyone needs to be there if you're available that's great if not it's okay it's really like this is really a, a birthday for me um for me not birthday for me of course it's a birthday for but this is really just like it's it's not about the stuff it's it's about what's happening inside here the second aspect of my birthday and what i'm doing um in that regard is is the introspective work it's the sitting with myself and being honest with myself about the things that have worked over the last few years, the things that haven't worked, what I want for myself, um, thinking about her <laughs> and what I want for her in the coming months and in the coming years without also being like very rigid about it and like this has to happen but it's not about it's not about that it's not it's not about the pressure and all of that no it's about love it's about grace it's about accountability and that self accountability um and some of the things that i've kind of been doing to get me in that to allow for that is the first is i'm going to have a couple days for myself a couple days for myself um, which will allow for this time period, which, you know, if you have a child, is a bit difficult to do sometimes in my little almost six-year-old. Um, it's, it's not easy to always have time for yourself and to just be like, oh, this, I'm just going to do this for the next one hour without interruptions. Like even the fact that I've spoken for as long as I have and there's not been anyone at the door <laughs> is a miracle. Anyway, um, so time out. For myself just a few days for myself uh second thing i've been doing is trying to consume content that that allows me to be in the right headspace so i've actually just started Brene brown's vulnerability book which one is that um i've read daring greatly loved that so much uh, but then I saw on Audible, she has The Power of Vulnerability, and that's what I'm on right now. And like even just earlier today, one of the things that came up in the book, she was saying that shame is at the epicenter of a lot of the things that people struggle with. And, I'm ta and she was mentioning them like depression, anxiety, eating disorders, addiction, a, like a long list, like shame is at the center. And it's when you've got... Um, she calls them, what does she call them? Not gargoyles. Gargoyles? No. They're like, ah, I've forgotten what she calls them. And it's, and it's not demon. It's like a gremlin. Is it a gremlin? I don't know if she calls them gremlins, but it's when you have, I'm going to just say gremlin, maybe, I don't know. But it, um, it's, it's when this other voice comes in and it's like, I know you've picked up the camera to vlog, but like, also, who actually cares? Does anyone care? Are you even that good at it? And like, how long has it taken you to even get to 100,000 subscribers? Are you like, who cares? No one's watching. People are more interested on other platforms, TikTok, blah, blah, blah. You don't have an interesting life. You're not even showing much of your life. So like, why are you even doing that, little gremlin? That is powered by shame. And often that's at the center of a lot of the issues a lot of the struggles that people have um it's, anyway if you've not read or listened to Brene brown i would highly suggest you start off with a ted talk because that's like a bite-sized chunk into her work and she does a lot of work ar around shame and fear and vulnerability and it's she's just incredible the the third thing i'm also doing and i i guess i've been i've kind of tried to do that for the last month uh, because I knew I needed it is to ask for help when I need it and that is with whether that's like with coach Roseanne or with my life coach um, Breen and um, if I need to like increase the number of sessions just so that I'm really on top of things and so be it but one of the things I realized and now going back to the conversation of um, shame but I think 
and not just shame, but things I've kind of talked about with uh, Roseanne and Umbreen. So I think one of the reasons I have struggled on here as much as I have, I think, I think, and it's just one of the reasons, but I think it might have to do with um, a deep fear I have around the internet and it being related to a traumatic space in my life that I went through and everyone was talking about me, or at least it felt like that, but I know it wasn't just feeling like that. It really was like I was the topic of conversation in not a positive way. At a time in my life when I was already very vulnerable and I had just I had just come out of a very traumatic space and I was trying to make sense of a new normal and and I I, I know I I, re, I was at the center of conversation and I knew I didn't want to contribute to the conversation because one it was a personal journey that I needed therapy to like take me through and figure things out and I hadn't even processed exactly what that is like I was still struggling to acknowledge what what was going on and what had happened um, and so to talk about it when I was in the middle of such a sensitive space in my life would have been reckless of me because it would have just invited conversation and then it, I like no I was not going to do that but it also meant that I couldn't clear anything up. I couldn't speak on anything. And I think, I think that made that, I think, not I think, but it was definitely traumatic in a way that you can't wrap your head, you can't wrap, you can't wrap, you can't, it's not one person, you know, you know, there's not like one person you can kind of be like, oh, you did this and this. I, I don't know if that makes sense. It was just this thing that happened and not one person was responsible. Um, when it comes to like the talking of it, that's what I mean. Like the, the conversations that w went round and, and all of that. And I, I, even today, I still don't, I, I don't think I, I'm ready to dive into the trauma, but I think not have, not, um, being able to, I feel like I'm just really skirting around things here and I'm also trying to just uh, be as honest as I feel ready for, but you know, also being smart about it. But um, I guess it's, a, it, uh, what I'm trying to say is I'm trying to have a relationship with this the internet right the space this thing that I know I enjoy most of the time and I like it allows me to be creative I feel connected like I'm meeting uh, people in real life when I when I meet people in real life I'm like oh my god like you're just so like wonderful and bold and confident and you're just you like you're a part of the people I'm connecting with and I love that space too I mean that not, not that interaction I love that opportunity to kind of engage with women specifically like because i'm always i know that there's some men who watch and that's great but i'm always talking to women like my first my focus here is like i want to talk to the girl and that let's just like connect and grow and all of that but what i'm trying to say is this thing that i'm trying to have a relationship with the internet because it's not a person like it's not like you're my boyfriend and you're in front of me and i can touch and feel and all of that you are like in this moment it's the camera and then I will upload it and then I'll release it. So this internet that I'm trying to have a relationship with was also the cause of a very traumatic space. Not cause, but I don't think it was a cause because there was a lot of trauma there, but it, it heightened some trauma that I was trying to make sense of. And so I, I often find like I'm fighting with feelings of being really open and then wanting to protect myself. Um, and I think I've only just realized that in the last couple of weeks, like it only became apparent 
in in the last few weeks after a couple of conversations um now i can't even <laughs> i can't even really remember why i was talking about the internet and the relationship and what that has to do with everything but i think ultimately like these are some of the things that i am uh reflecting on and that's why i feel like i need a couple of days to really it's not about reading it's not about watching it's not about catching up on sleep it's it's about like journaling it's about asking difficult questions um uh and trying to just like dig a little bit deeper it's about grace it's about love it's about her um and and even as I, like i know i'm getting emotional and even now i almost feel like i want to pause the camera and just like cry it out and release it um but at the same time i'm really grateful for this because that, like where would i have been like I, I don't who knows where i would have been but like i also know how much i've grown as a person and I know, like deep down, I know I'm proud of myself, even though that there's, you know, there's so much I could change. I know I'm proud of the woman that I am becoming. Uh, and, and I want to pause and just like release, maybe take a shower and just let it all out, um, which was not the intention of like, that's not what I thought we were going to talk about when I switched on the camera. I was just going to be like, look, <laughs> I bought pajamas and also uh, I'm just taking a couple days um, on the weekend to just be with myself and do the work. <laughs> but, uh, but I guess this is also part of the work in many ways because this feels like the first time I'm admitting on the internet just how traumatic that was but also it's it almost feels like in the last couple of weeks i've been admitting to, i've been real i vote i've only come to understand in the last couple of weeks how traumatic that was because it was affecting like things that i was hoping to do this year and i was already like but if it's like i don't know what people will think and what will they say and what if they don't like it and i had made it such a big deal and i remember like when i was speaking to someone about it and they were like what? a couple of people they were like Can, like you haven't even done it but why is there such deep fear why is there such deep fear and i was like oh well you know the internet has always, hasn't always been nice to me and blah 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 yeah, yeah, yeah i feel like i'm winding now and whatever you know like we <sighs> i'm already trying to minimize my own feelings by trying to justify that like nah it's okay people get like traumatized all the time get over it not gonna do that not gonna do that um but anyway that's the gist of things this week we are um having a different kind of birthday and it's a different kind of birthday prep and it's a different kind of birthday week um and despite being very emotional i'm actually really grateful and in a really good place and i'm like this is part of what i was saying like i'm happy i'm doing the work i'm happy i'm learning and understanding these things and like it just means i'm moving closer to the best version and to the version that will just be super bold and vibrant and authentic um but yeah uh, i think another reason i wanted to share is because part of what i want to do this year is to share the process and to include you guys in the journey and not just be like here's before here's after i'm all fixed now look at me everything is just running smoothly but it's like mm, actually in between it was really tough but uh it's okay it's it's life it's life and there's growth and i just need to know focus on that focus on that okay i no let me put you elsewhere because that is too low and then i'm gonna be bending and it won't be comfortable the lighting isn't great at all maybe if i face this way a little bit it's okay anyway i have washed my face i'm in my pajamas i wanted to quickly show you a couple of things that are in the like little treat you section like the oh this feels good um first is from well uh, not more words the body shop um did you know that we have the body shop at village market i don't know if you guys know i talked about it in my stories 
a few weeks ago and I think I saw them for the first time was it late last year or early this year anyway my point is we now have the body shop at uh, village market and I went and got myself this body cream what is it oh uh, body yogurt okay um so it's really light and for someone who likes to slather vaseline all over their body like is there something more distinctive than the strawberry body shop scent is there is there anything like immediately i don't know if any other brand could quite use this and it doesn't and it's it's just like it's like the body shop scent so i got this and usually after i put vaseline um i just like to put something else very light and not even everywhere just a little bit like on my arms and on my legs just to add a, a bit of a scent to my skin to my body so i got that um and that actually i got a little while ago but i haven't used it yet um i was finishing up another one that i had that i didn't love it was a vanilla scented body yoga it's the same thing as this like but a white tub instead of this uh and so i went and uh replenished because i knew it was about to be over and could have used a new tub and then the other thing i got that i kind of mentioned um a few minutes ago are new pajamas these are so pretty it's uh it's white with pink palm trees on it and the pink is so beautiful look at that isn't that so pretty i just love it and i love that it's actually short sleeved should i wear this today this is like birthday pajamas should i just like you know what i'm gonna start it's gonna be like birthday pajama week i'm gonna do, i'm gonna do it now okay oh my god it is perfect it is absolutely perfect they are also very long uh let me just pull back and show you can you even see i don't know like i'm on my tiptoes and they're now touching the floor but like this there so I, I don't mind it like i don't mind having something super long oh i just love it there we go me in my pajamas and you can see it a lot better there just like how how it is anyway now for real i'm going to sign off because it is 5 p.m or just past and i i'm emotionally spent i kind of just want to take a second um maybe read a little i'm about to be done with uh anne frank's the diary of a young girl which i have been reading for a few months to be very honest i've just kind of been been dragging my feet um but the last few pages have just started to get a little bit more interesting plus i've told myself besides the audiobook i'm listening to on audible the brene brown one i am not allowed to start another book until i finish that one because otherwise i'll just get into another one and then it'll be september and i still haven't finished plus i only have like 30 pages to go so i better finish it tonight so that's what i'm doing for the evening um and i will see you uh tomorrow hello good morning good morning you guys uh what oh i had just sat here to send an email but i'm just seeing a message message could not be sent check your network and try again but there is wi-fi why is it not sending i don't understand anyway um i thought i would start today with a couple of packages that came in so actually i didn't well i I did vlog yesterday but I think I was um, a little so I was just doing too much and I just decided that it, like I, it, it, it was not going to work I had a bit of a busy day yesterday I've just seen that actually I could use a little bit of lip stick let me just get something going for my trusted Maybelline matte in the color brown sugar 988 which as far as I know is not available quite annoying anyway um so what happened yesterday i had i went to the gym in the morning um came back had two zoom meetings one with my assistant who actually i haven't even really talked about it but i feel like i found this is the most in sync i've ever felt with anyone who have kind of brought on and in, into my team and i've tried many a times over the years but um 
I don't know, I'm just like crossing fingers. Cause I feel, and maybe we can talk about this a little bit later, but I, I feel like, you know how when we're looking for the right partner, it's it, there's often so much emphasis on like how to find this person and what, what makes you both compatible? Are your values aligned? Are you energetically matched? Like all these things, but we don't really do it with other aspects of um, our lives and other relationships we're in. Um, anyway, and I just, just it's not been too, too long. It's just been about a month now, but I just kind of feel like maybe this is the one. This is my one. Well, at least one of hopefully many um, when it comes to just members of my team. Um, anyway, had a meeting with my assistant and then I had a meeting with um, uh, Rosanna. I had a session with her and it was really lovely and for the first time we actually got into food and to me that shows progress because for the longest time all we've done is kind of talk about maybe just try and understand like why i was feeling a bit anxious and i think the reason we were even able to get into food is because i'm really starting to do the work and unlock certain things we, i talked in more detail about the things that i briefly mentioned on here um and actually, I want to go back to that in just a second. Um, and then afterwards, I had a meeting, which was really exciting. And I'm just like, please let everything work out because I really believe that towards the end of the year, it's going to be magical, absolute magic. Um, but before we get into chatting, I wanted to open up a couple of items that came in because, you know, even though it's just PR, I'm just going to claim it and count it as like, oh, birthday celebration stuff that came in <laughs> no one knows it's my birthday they definitely did know it's my birthday but i'm claiming it as like just birthday week goodness okay so as part of like birthday week stuff prep uh we are opening pr packages that will make me feel good so the first is this and i think this may have come in a while back so i usually have my pr sent to um this team and then they send it to me uh they send it to me after um, and I think this may have actually come in a little while ago, maybe a week ago, maybe longer, I'm not sure, but it is from New Level. I think you can see inside their logo and it's just so creative. I just, I love it. Um, and inside we've got an eye mask, like a sleeping mask. This is really this actually feels really good. I wonder if they made this. Wow. What does that say? Tempt me. <gasps> naughty. Of course Nancy's going to be naughty. And then we've got... Oh, it's lipstick. We've got Nancy and another model up front. And I guess it's their shades of reds. Nice. There's Cater to You threesome and for the streets i love it well the packaging is really luxe as well you don't get a lot of lipstick uh, liquid lipsticks in this packaging it just looks really really different really solid and like sexy and grown so those are the three i think what i'll do is through the week i will play oh you know what i think i'll like the most i think threesome will be my shade because i think for the street has a bit of an orange tint at least if that if if this is true to color um and uh cater to you has like a more orange no like a bright to red shade like a scarlet red type and i think the one in the middle is like deep dark sultry i don't know i'll have to test it out and see through the week so once i wear them i will show you um and speaking of makeup, actually, I got a new foundation, not really a new foundation. I got the same uh, Fenty uh, filter, Pro Filter foundation, but a different shade of it as a tester because I'm pretty certain mine's almost over and I just want to get another one because I really loved this foundation. So I went into the store and you know how in the past I've been like, does my face look orange or no? Well, the lady then showed me a different, it's Pretty, they look ex almost exactly the same but one has more like a, of a more of a red undertone and the other one is not um and so i'm 
trying it out although today what i did for the first time was mix the two but i just really love the fenty also i really i'm happy with my skin i'm really happy with my skin i've done my hair a little bit different today i'm not sure i love it but you know we're just trying we're trying something new um but i really am happy with my skin i keep meeting more and more people who are talking about trying out effa class serum and loving it and i think something especially with skincare like it's one thing for me to be like this is a great lipstick wow get it buy it it's another for skincare because that's it's truth is it's like way more sensitive than foundation lipstick eyebrow pencil type thing like this can this can go really right or really wrong and so to hear people who have bought the items like even yesterday one of the people i was with was telling me how oh i, I bought that serum two months ago i love it been using it consistently um keep getting dms and people are actually sending me sending me before and after so i'm just telling you if you haven't yet used the effa class serum i'm gonna link it down below because it is the one and i know i work with la roche but i wouldn't I, like you've seen the befores and after right i'm sure i've shown you have i if i haven't we'll do another video dedicated to like hair skin wellness and all of that um but the second package is from africa nuva i think my my introduction into africa nuva was a jumpsuit and it was actually Mondi who sent me the jumpsuit because I was like, Han, I have an event. I have no idea what to wear. What what stores do I look at? Like, what, what have you seen that's, like, cute? And she sent me a bunch of options. But the one that, like, caught my attention was um, that jumpsuit. And I'm just so happy that they are, like, just always, like, not always, but every once in a while I'll get, like, a... DM being like, can we just send you a couple of items, which is so lovely. So I have got uh, a green top, which I'm so happy to see that it's got stretch because I wasn't sure things just aren't sitting where they used to sit before. So I wasn't sure how this will fit, but I love that it's got like an elastic um, uh, waist um, and the top as well. So it will sit on me right and then it's got a dramatic shoulder i'll probably try these on and insert clips of me wearing them just so that you can have a better idea and then the second piece is a kimono and i just think like it's kimonos are an easy way to just add like a, a kind of a cover-up like just a layer um when it's a little bit cold or maybe even just when you're just trying to cover a little bit I cover up a little bit um, so we've got this kimono oh wow this is floor length not a lot of my kimonos actually aren't floor length so I'll also try this on and well kind of style it how I would wear it so you can see it on me okay here is the kimono I don't know if I would actually pair it like this maybe with um oh my pockets are that funny way like maybe with uh black jeans but i have to say this has like a really fitted feel to a lot of the other kimonos i own which makes it different like a lot of the other ones have like these really wide set arms and um i don't know how else to explain but the neck feels a little bit different and yet in my experience kimonos often tend to have like a just put it on and drape it over your clothes and it'll do its flowy thing that it does. But I really like this. It's quite long, um, possibly a little too long, but that I can have taken in. It's not an issue at all. And actually much happier that, it, that, that it's longer and not um, shorter. It's also got pockets. It doesn't have the belt hoops because it came with this. So it doesn't have the belt hoops, but I really like it. And I've just worn my, um, where did it, this was a Forever 254 bralette. These are the things I wish I had easy access to all year round because I live in things like this. Um, and then I've got these jeans that I got from Woolworths and of course the African Yuva um, kimono. But this is lovely, 
and here is the second piece which is the one shoulder top I checked it is extra small both this and the other one are extra small I've actually paired this with another one of the African Uva pieces and it's just a pair of black wide leg palazzo pants which is a classic a staple this has a much smarter feel to um, I think another set of palazzo pants that I got from them that I'm a with. It's like this blue tie and dye. It's gorgeous. Um, but this has a smarter feel. The, <laughs> quite frankly, I can't zip up the back. I don't know if you can see, but that is not zipped up, ladies and gents, because, you know, things don't change recently and uh, we're working on them, but it's okay. For now, it's just going to stay half open. This shirt, though, I love pieces that have a little bit of room that allow you to feel smart or beautiful or just lovely but don't like you it's not like i can't lift my arm i can't eat i can't i don't know like run after my little one because god forbid things will move i mean I, and i know that there's place and time for those pieces those more dressier items that you're like it's too cute, I can't breathe, it doesn't matter. <laughs> I know that there's a time and place for those, but I do have a spe special place in my heart for things that are striking, yet comfortable and wearable, and this is one of them. And I think the fact that we've got that stretch here and that stretch here, and then this part, you know, can kind of like, it has room, for whatever size you are. And then it's got like just a bit of a shoulder detail. Have I not put that properly at the back? I don't think it was draped quite right at the back. Just a second. Yeah, I don't think it was draped quite right at the back, but I think it's just like a, a nice little feature. I just wanted to get a bit brighter so that you can see it. For some reason it's not getting any brighter but I think I sh you could see the print properly before. That's the print. I actually have an event coming up. Um, it's a La Roche Pose event and the dress code is to come in your favorite serum and y'all know, y'all know what my favorite is and that's like this striking beautiful green it's so lovely. I mean, look at that. That's pretty good. Although when I look at it here, it looks brighter. The shade is brighter and on camera, in person, it looks a bit darker. But anyway, I do feel that this is pretty close. Although the piece that I was gonna go for is this, which actually when placed against it, don't know. I guess we'll decide. We'll see which one to go for between these two. Anyway, so plan for this morning is to bake a cake because that's part of my like feel good pre-birthday prep. And because I don't really have a lot of ingredients, um, I'm just going to go for the usual lemon drizzle cake that I know I love by Cupcake Gemma. But in just a second, because I need to show this. What I really would have loved to make is something from her book. I think I already talked about this, but this was a present from my friend Tiff. <sighs> so happy. So do you know what's so odd though? I have looked at this book so many times. How many recipes have I made? Zero. Since December, zero. But I'll still just flip through and I'm like, oh my gosh, look at that chewy chalk chip cookie. Honestly, maybe I could actually make burnt butter, light brown sugar, egg, vanilla extract, flour, bicarbonate of soda, sea salt, milk chocolate, dark chocolate. <gasps> I would actually easily make this. Should I make this over the weekend? But if I have the cake... Okay, this is going to be my... Actually, I've turned to the page that feels doable. Because some of the things... Like, if you're telling me I need to make meringue and I'm like, I don't have that, like, big whisk to... I don't, I don't know that scares me a little bit but something like this can ease me into making some of these some of these um baked goods that just look so good anyway so that's what we're doing this morning we are making lemon drizzle cake which i know i've made a million times so i don't even know if i should bother showing it on here because it's so simple um and but i'll link it down below 
but I wanted to have a bit of a chat with you. Um, this is one of those vlogs, huh? It's gonna be chatty. Don't know if this is what you thought you were signing up for, mate, but here we are. Anyway, I, um, I woke up yesterday and you know, you know that feeling when you've met someone and you, you know, had this moment where you just like opened up and you shared quite a bit and then either on your drive back home or as you're just like getting to sleep at night, you just start to think like, what the hell, did I overshare? Should I have said that? Why did I say all of that? Was that too much? That's a bit of, that's a bit how I felt yesterday morning when I thought, ooh, what did I say? on camera i should delete it i shouldn't put it up like <laughs> no but it was a combination of a conversation i had with roseanne and the book i'm reading the Brene brown book which i th i think not not even reading i'm listening to it where is my phone i think it's oh no it's here yeah the Brene brown book which i feel like everyone should find get their hands on this if you can listen to it that would be amazing. It's the power of vulnerability. What she talked about this morning was the different ways that we build up vulnerability armors, right? Shields, we put them up. And these are things that are learned at an early age. And for instance, it could be that you choose to disengage. An example, a personal example, last year I got rejected for something that I really wanted. And my response to that was, oh, I'm never doing that again. I'm never putting myself out there again because I don't want to deal with rejection. And so if I, if I don't do it, then I'll never feel like I'm like mm, out, not even going to put myself um, in a space where I get to feel how I felt in that moment. And I realized that that's something I actually do. Um, so even in conversation uh, recently, I was talking to someone and they were describing how someone else they had been with was a bit cold towards them and first reaction was like oh i'm never going to have i'm not i'm never going to say hi to that person be try and engage with that person because that's my version of i don't want to feel rejected so i will not engage you know and that, that's me trying to protect myself um so that's one way people do protect use shields you disengage another thing is trying to be a perfectionist that's a form of trying to shield yourself from being vulnerable because if, if you're trying to make everything just right and then in doing so which also perfectionism i know a lot of people talk about it in a like almost like i'm proud look i'm a bit of a perfectionist i get that but it's also not the healthiest thing um and now i don't think i will describe it as best as Brene brown does it but it's like you just have to listen to it another thing that she talks about she was like oh joy what was the word she was using for boarding joy for boarding. so oh, this was such a good one you know when so you're in a relationship and everything is going so well and you're just so happy and you're maybe in the moment and just like oh my god this feels so good and in an instant you think oh my god what if he cheats on me oh what if he dies what if he has to like leave the country and go to war come we're not even in war go to war and we'll never see each other again what if uh he just doesn't love me anymore what if he just like falls out of like you know how you can do that or and this is something i've done before and she talked about and i just felt so validated if you're a parent have you ever had a moment when you are like looking at your child and you're just like oh my god i love you so much i love you so like you're just adorable i just want to like mm, i love you love you love you and then in an instant you think oh, what if you get hit by a car because i wasn't looking or what if someone tries to harm you or what if you're in a car accident and it's like what and i feel i feel in many ways i'm like that like i'm constantly like it's like in a beautiful moment i'll think what if this goes like that she talks about that anyway it's it's the book is wonderful the book is wonderful but um and i even wrote down one of the things that i felt like sat with me the most um and that was you know as kids we learn these habits and how to self-preserve and prevent ourselves from um having to feel rejection or, or to just not make ourselves 
ourselves vulnerable so we put up an armor but then you grow up and you realize that in order for you to really show up to show up as yourself as the best truest version of yourself you have to put down this armor to let it go and to let yourself be seen and i was thinking back to again how i was feeling yesterday and like and the conversation i was having um, about the internet and just like how I'm so sometimes like dancing all over the place trying to be like mm -hmm, how much do I want to share and open up and all that and whilst I still believe in boundaries and I still will put some boundaries up because I don't want to have my child on here I don't want her to be like a feature and for her to live her life on here um, and I also don't think my personal romantic relationships that's something I want to bring online um, and I at least I don't want it to be the center stage like you know that that's definitely not what I want whilst I have those boundaries in place I do feel that I have at some level disengaged when it comes to just really showing up because then I can't fully get hurt by some of the things that might be said they haven't even been said but what if people just like suddenly like wake up and are, are mad at me because of something and so don't ever see anything of meaning of of passion because and again i do think we have a responsibility to really think about what we say and what we put forward when we come on the internet you, you don't just wake up and you just say whatever because it's like words matter but i I think I have been driven by fear and a slight disengagement because I don't want to get hurt. And so part of me working through that is also being honest about that, about this and wanting to show up a little more like myself. And I feel every year I've done that. I've kind of tested the waters and been like, okay, maybe I can just like be a little bit more like myself and talk about this a little bit more. and. Hopefully I won't get paid, but I still have a long way to go and I still have some processing to do um, so that I can, I can deal with that, whatever happened in the past and whatever that was, but also move forward confidently without always worrying about, oh my gosh, people aren't going to like me if I really say what I think about the situation. Um, yeah, it's, it's just, it's not the way I want to show up in life, in my career, on here with you guys. And part of that is also just being honest about that. And maybe one day in the future, I don't know when exactly, maybe one day I'll be confident enough and feel safe enough to really share in detail some of what I was talking about. But that day is not today, but I do want to say this. I want to be really intentional about crafting a space that feels safe for me and safe for you to show up truly and fully as ourselves. That's what I want to be intentional about. And I don't know what that's gonna look like a few months from now, a few years from now. I don't know what that version is, but I know I want, like I want for Sharon to really show up. And I want for you to leave here feeling that, you know, feeling a little bit like, just feeling better, feeling more at peace, feeling safe, feeling confident to move forward in your own life, in your own ways as yourselves and not be, and not have to like dim your light, you know? And all that, again, whilst being responsible, I'm not saying like, just go out and be like, you know, irresponsible, hurt people, who cares, it's your life, do whatever you want, it's not, none of that, obviously, obviously, um, that's not what I mean, but I do want us to show up, I really, and I want that for myself, and I want to do that on here, um, so yeah, I no longer feel that like, ah, did I share too much, I kind of feel like that was the first step in trying to craft a space that I'm proud of, on line so with that said let's go make cake because it's my birthday week <laughs>
the cake is done. I will say though, we um, we usually buy, what butter is it? I can't now remember. It's like lupak or loop or something like that. Um, that's the butter we usually use. And I think the, because I changed to the Brookside one, it changed the consistency. I think I, something's different about those two kinds of uh, butter. They're both um, uh, unsalted. But uh, it still looks nice and like caramelized and oh my gosh, if you've ever baked this, you know how good this is. So I'm just gonna wait 10 minutes and then put it here and then I have to rush up because I have a meeting to go for. Okay, um, where's the light? Oh my gosh, first of all, can we talk about, very briefly, can we talk about how mosquitoes have taken over Nairobi. <laughs> um, anyway, it is much later in the evening. I am making myself a tea, which I can hear it is almost um, ready to steep. In fact, let me just do that as I talk. This, I am obsessed with this. This is my third Meth Du Maroc. And soon, no, this is my second. This is my second. But it looks like I'm gonna need I've actually already placed an order for another one because I only have two more left. But this is the one I just keep going back to. It's from uh, Mothaiga Tea Company. I'm going to link them down below. I also just really like, like it just feels like a bit of a treat. In fact, I'm just going to consider this a bit of a, like as my like feel good things that I'm doing. Just a bit of a tea that's like well blended and i think it's even hand blended i may be making that up don't take my word for it i'm not entirely sure but it's just it's they've got like a luxe feel to them in fact today i was burning one of the candles that they also have with Ega tea company but anyway um uh yeah i'm just gonna add that to my list of like feel good things the cake that i baked first of all turned out so good i forgot to give you an update on that um because i went for my meeting came back <clears throat> and um had like a uh what do you it's not a survey what do you call when you get people to a focus group type thing to show up for um it was online and then um i thought i and then my dad came over for a bit and i actually cut him a slice of the lemon uh cake and cut a couple more slices for my mom and my sister but uh yeah i think that's it i think the only thing i'm gonna add to my feel good list is i have Sorry about that. <laughs> I was just saying, the only thing I'm going to add to my feel good list, at least um, for sh I know for sure that I've set an appointment for, is my nails. I have not seen um, Sophie in the longest time. I'm going to link Sophie in the description box, actually. Just, I'm not everything that I've talked about as much as I possibly can, I will link in the description box. Um, but I haven't seen Sophie since December and I actually have taken a different root when it comes with, to my nails i just don't go as ham as i used to i was religiously seeing sophie every two weeks and i think my nails just couldn't handle all of that um because i was doing gel manicures and i just don't think my nails can handle it so i instead um will be taking like a six week break in between having my nails done and then for the rest of the time i think i'll just be doing my at-home nail polish i think that just works better for me um but i'm gonna link sophie down in the description box she's coming tomorrow she's gonna do my nails and my toes yeah so i'm gonna end this vlog here um but thank you so Ooh, let's just close this because you're just seeing everything blue band tea tea coffee's in the back this is like our tea drawer chia seeds show you this i don't know guys just like i'm hilarious i'm sleepy anyway i just wanted to say thank you so much um i know this has been a bit of an odd one a bit of an uncomfortable one a bit of a vulnerable one but i do feel that i was like being cheered on by Brene brown um and and ultimately i'm just like really happy for us and where this is going to go and um happy birthday to me <laughs> which um it's gonna be in just like by the time this vlog goes up it's gonna be one more sleep and then it's my birthday i like how i now talk in sleeps because when you have kids you kind of have to account for time in this in a way that they will understand like five more sleeps and blah blah blah, blah. anyway 
enough chat. Thank you for watching. Um, I'll see you next week. Bye.